So one of the biggest things that always got me in this business was appliances. This is probably one of the most pain in the neck parts of property management and even getting the appliances in the house can sometimes be a process. So I'm just going to talk to you real quick about my thoughts on getting the appliances in the house, how I handle emergencies because a lot of these will be emergencies to the tenant. Uh, a lot of times they're not necessarily. And uh, then also as far as my opinion on used appliances, new ones and such like that. So in this house, this is actually a flip that we are turning into a rental. And in the house, we actually have a new used fridge. It's a used fridge, but it's new. Got this stove. Um, and we actually decided to keep this dishwasher and the microwave is brand new. Now, originally when we were gonna flip the house, we actually always put, uh, you, we usually will put cleaned up used appliances. The thing about used appliances versus the new ones, the used ones come faster and they're like half the price. So if you're looking at it, this fridge will cost you like three, four hundred dollars. Whereas at Home Depot, this will cost you like seven to a thousand. Um, and then this stove cost me like three fifty. All right, maybe, maybe that. Sometimes you can get them even cheaper. I've gotten washers and dryers for like about two hundred dollars. Uh, you can even get these if this was a rental grade white fridge. You can get this for like two hundred dollars used. Um, and then dishwashers. Dishwashers are the only thing that are tricky. You can't get them used very often. Not a lot of companies will do it, and uh, it's mainly an insurance problem. And in fact, a lot of appliance repair specialists won't repair these because of the insurance liability uh, uh, attached to it. So a lot of them just leave that out of their scopes of work. They won't even touch them. So a lot of times you just have to replace them, and they can be a real pain in the neck to replace because, once again, a lot of these appliance companies don't like dealing with dishwashers. So big risk if you try to use these, but essentially the used ones they'll come faster because if you get them new, uh, Home Depot and Best Buy and all of them, they don't actually keep these appliances on stock. The reason why is because if it even gets the slightest scratch, then now it goes from being new to scratch and dent, which brings down the price. Scratch and dent is actually a lot of times what I will ask for from the appliance stores. They're the ones who get the scratch and dent stuff. They also get refurbished stuff. The scratch and dent basically means nothing was wrong with it and maybe it's not even used, but you know, they, they can't sell it at max price, so they have to list it up there. So Home Depot takes about a week or two. Home Depot and all of them, they're not going to go in your house with a lockbox. The used appliance guys will. So that's another pain in the butt. If your house is vacant, that means you have to wait at the property. Even if it's not vacant, that means your tenant has to wait at the property. If your tenant waits at the property, uh, or let's say they can't, let's maybe they're at work or whatnot during the day. Then you run into that next problem. It's like, okay, someone has to be there. So that's a pain in the butt. The other issue with getting the new appliances versus the used ones is this stove we just installed today. All right, we got this. They hauled it in here and uh, they hauled the old one out. Smooth process, didn't take them long. And they hooked up the gas lines to the dryer, or I'm sorry, the, to, the, to the stove. That's something Home Depot and them won't do. They'll say they got to pull a permit. Whether or not they actually pull permits for this, uh, remains to be seen. I've never actually really seen them do it. Really what's happening is these big box stores are hiring out these smaller companies to bring these in here. These smaller companies can make more money by telling you, the homeowner, that, oh, we have to pull permits to make this legitimate connection. Now, is this technically true? Yes, but really you need to pull a permit if you do almost anything half the time in the house. So there's really the technically true and the reality of what everyone actually does. My guys just hooked up the gas stove. I'm mean, sorry. Yeah, the gas stove, not a problem. Other things is there are instances I've had where like the uh, metal on the, the water lines is slightly oxidized, which means it has like this bluish tinge or maybe it's slightly hard to move the, tur the shutoff valves. Well, they'll say, oh, well, we can't hook up the washer machine because we're afraid this is going to break. So we're going to leave it right here. So now you got to hire another plumber to come back out to hook that up. These type of things happen a lot. This also happens with dishwashers, as mentioned, with the whole dishwasher situation. So new appliances do come with their share of downsides, and it's the reason a lot of times those used appliance stores can be really, really nice to have. They're a lot quicker as well. As mentioned, it takes like a week to get these out. Now, that being said, why use the new ones at all? The new ones come with reliability, obviously. That's kind of the one everyone rents the new appliances for, right? They are double the price, but you don't have to deal with it breaking on the tenants, especially ones that are always an emergency like this fridge here. So 
Fridges, when they're broken, whenever they shut down, I promise you that is always randomly the time that they bought the caviar, the lobster. They filled this fridge to the brim. There's probably like $500 worth of food in here. And guess what? It all died. Who knew? And so now they want you, the landlord, to replace it and give them a nice check for like three, five hundred dollars. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this. Um, we have reimbursed tenants, but usually not that much. Normally it's like a hundred bucks. But essentially, it becomes an issue when this dies. So a lot of times the fridges are the one thing where I'm like, you know what? I don't want to deal with it. Just get it brand new, get the warranty. We're gonna talk about warranties in a second, actually, that's a bit. Um, another thing that's not an emergency though, stoves. All right, you can get them used because it's not an emergency. We did have one situation where a used stove started spewing out gas though, and the fire department got called and we had to shut off the stove and it became this huge big emergency then. But that was a one time incident. Most of the time that's not gonna actually happen. You, uh, dishwashers are never emergencies, so I wouldn't even really worry about it. In fact, the low-end rental would probably get rid of these things. And then washers and dryers can be an emergency. In a rooming house, you have more tenants using it, okay. Um, otherwise, probably about a week you, before you start really getting the complaints, especially if they have a baby, because obviously that's gonna be a lot of clothes that are gonna be churning through pretty quickly. So those are the things on those. <clears throat> so the fridges, I would recommend just get them new. Um, what I do to buy myself time when a fridge breaks is I always keep a, mi a mini fridge on hand. Um, maybe it could be in my house, whatnot, and I just hire a contractor to come and get this mini fridge and put it there. Now I have a storage facility, but for you newer investors out there, you may not have that. So uh, that's one thing I'll be thinking about. Just make sure with the used appliance guys that they uh, measure everything before they send out these fridges. And also same with Home Depot, you're actually gonna find that doorways and stuff need to be measured and all that and in a clean way to get these appliances in and out. In fact, every time I buy a house, oftentimes I'm thinking, how am I getting these appliances in and out of the house? So that is just something to think about as well. Now, as far as warranties, warranties from Home Depot and all that, most likely will be honored. Okay, you might want to fight with them a little bit, have to go through those long departments, but they will honor it. The used appliance guys will only honor the warranty as long as they still like you, or as if they're still in business, or you're still hiring them for jobs. Their warranties are garbage. A lot of times, these used appliance stores will say, oh, we'll cover that extended warranty, you know, for you because you waited so long. They basically said nothing and effectively just made you feel good about the product. So um, just note that the getting them actually out to fix it is hard because remember, they sold it to you at such a cheap price. The cost it takes to send someone out here to fix your used appliance and mess around with it, it's probably gonna cost them another 100, 125, $150. Well, at that point, they already sold it to you for 350. That included the cost of the device to, to obtain it. Then they had to clean it, of course, in the warehouse. So honestly, it doesn't make any sense. They're not charging you enough to even honor a warranty. It's better off that they just screw you over on it. So. That's basically your whole breakdown of appliances, kind of how I would handle these. Um, I mean, as far as little quick tips about my rentals and such, um, I normally do not get a fridge with a water dispenser or an ice maker unless it's in a higher end property. So my short, like my smaller end rentals. Now, just another thing that can break um, is stoves, gas or electric. I usually prefer, uh, well, usually me personally, I prefer electric stoves. I don't have to deal with gas, but my tenants prefer a gas stove, of course, for the utilities. So we try to give them gas. You know, everyone always prefers a gas stove, but for my really low-end rentals, I'll probably use electric. Um, so, and then uh, microwaves are a thing that, you know, honestly, whether or not you even supply it is kind of questionable. I mean, obviously this is an over the uh, stove microwave, so, you know, of course supply it. Uh, dishwashers, if you must have a dishwasher in your house, I would get them brand new personally because they always break. These things will break every single year on you. Uh, the tenants will misuse them. Short, like they're a pain in the butt. I usually try to just get rid of them. And then as far as your washers and dryers, um, the top loaded ones are the most common. The side loader ones are, have been the most stable. I don't know if that's, there's a correlation between that, but that's basically something I've experienced. Um, so if you get a washing machine that's a front loaded versus top loaded, for some reason they do tend to last longer. I think it's the direction that the machine is actually spinning. So, well anyway, that's your whole appliance breakdown. If you have any comments or questions about it, let me know. Comment below and I will talk to you all very soon.